Hi guys, in this second video on R, I'm going to just tell you a little bit about the layout. When you open up R, it's actually R GUI that we're going to be working in, this is what you'll see. Um, I've changed the size around a little because I'm going to mess with the font size a little so you can see what I'm doing a little bit. Um, let me just, th this part right here is, doesn't really concern you too much. I'm just going to tinker a little bit with the font size so that you can follow easily what I am doing here. Okay. Okay, so what you're looking at here, what I'm moving around, is the R console. Now, this is where you're going to actually physically write code or copy and paste code into. Okay, this is where the code gets interpreted. Okay, or your scripts rather get interpreted. Okay, um, up here we have a menu system. So this is something you're familiar with, and from time to time this will be useful. We'll be working with things like save history to record all the commands that we've created in, a, in an R session so that we can reproduce it for the future. We may change our directory from time to time when we want to import a data set and put it into a much more convenient location. Okay, we may create a new script, which basically is like a little text editor that sits somewhere like here, and we could type text into and then drag it into the console so that it gets interpreted here. Okay, and besides that, you're not really gonna, we're not really gonna save to file, save workspace, or much of this, this other stuff here. Okay, although it, it looks a little tempting. Um, uh, what else do we have on this menu? As you saw, I went into GUI preferences and I changed my font size so that in this video, when I start typing here, you could see what I'm typing. Um, so you could do that here. You could change some preferences here. You could change colors and things like this. That could be fun. Okay, besides that, not much use there. Um, View, nothing useful there for us. Miscellaneous packages, this we're going to use when we start uh, downloading and using specific packages uh, for, for our machine learning algorithms, for our text uh, mining um, tasks, and so on. So how we do this is we come over here and we say install packages. So we'll be using this. I'll teach you how to do that when that comes, but this is something to look out for. Um, window, these are just the windows that are open. Help, you might want to come here if you want to search something specific. There's a manual here, there's FAQs, and so on. You can also get the version of R, so we're in version 3.1.2. Okay. Here you have some very kind of commonly used icons, so this is from the menu system just brought down here so you can flip through these and see what these are okay so basically it's the menu items that are very kind of useful so they've brought them down here for quick access um, but most of what you're going to be doing is working within the console okay um, in addition to that, you have all this space here, so if you make graphics and stuff, they will pop up in Windows over here, kind of like I drew before. So if we draw a scatter plot, it'll show up here, and that's a graphic device. Okay, so let's actually run a couple very simple commands so you can at least just, again, get a better idea of the layout. This is not really about these commands, this is more to learn about the layout. So I'm just going to call a data set that sits um, within R and within one of the packages called cars. So cars, let's look at the structure. I'll explain some of these commands later. But as you can see, I type into this console and I hit enter and that my commands get interpreted and I get output within the console. 
Okay, so I see that cars is a data set about cars. I know this, but um, you might not know this. Um, it tells the speed of a car and the distance, so on. We're not too interested in that. Um, I want to show you what a graphic device looks like, so I'm going to plot cars, and you see I get this pop up here, which I could resize. It's a scatter plot of these two variables here, speed and distance, which are both numerical. So I got speed here and distance there, and I get a nice scatter plot. So this, again, we're focusing on the layout of the R GUI. You can see that uh, if you make a plot, like a scatter plot, it'll show up in a separate window called a graphics device. Okay, and you can make multiple graphics devices. So we have the console, the graphics device, the menu system up here, and some space. Basically, it's nice to have all this space because you may start adding things. Like I may want to have the, another plot so I can open up. And I don't want to overwrite that plot. I could drag this over here. And I can make a histogram, for example, of speed. So here I have a histogram, that easy. Okay, and I'm so now I have two graphics windows. Okay, so this should give you a little kind of um, level of confidence when you start working in R because it might be completely different than um, computer applications that you've worked with before. If you've worked with Excel, you start with a spreadsheet, a blank sheet, which you type data into. Um, you have a nice menu ribbon at the top. Okay, so this kind of takes those training wheels away a little, but it also what, what comes with that with the loss of the nice kind of menu system is uh, a lot, lot, lot more capability um, to do a lot more advanced items and customizable things. Okay. So hope this was helpful, again, to ease you into learning R. All right, make sure you continue to watch these videos and we'll get progressively more interesting, more involved, and hopefully we'll kind of get to the algorithms in time. Till next time, have a great day.